Animania overhauls the behaviour of passive animals to make them feel more alive. With new models, breeds, items, food and more, animals and animal management is now more immersive, dynamic and rewarding, especially for those who seek the farmer's life. Animania is split into three add-ons, each one focusing on a different aspect of the mod. Animania Base is the core mod that the other two need to run properly. Animania Farm is the mod that overhauls all the farm animals with new breeds, behaviours and mechanics. Animania Extra brings some extra wildlife to the world, featuring new mobs defined with their own variants and behaviours. Starting with Animania Base, this is the foundational mod for Animania. On its own, it provides new blocks and items that can come in handy for the other add-ons. However, it's the mod that the other add-ons require for the mod to work properly. One of the most notable things from the base mod is the in-game manual. In this contains the information needed to understand most things about the animals and their breeds, their favourite foods and additional blocks and items that can help out. Animania Farm is where most of the mod's features happen. This add-on reworks all the farm animals to make them feel more unique and diverse, with new breeds, behaviours and more. Right off the bat, each farm animal has been given a facelift, having new models, textures, animations and sounds, so they can live up to their other breeds. Speaking of breeds, each of these animals have a few breeds to find across the world, from the Angus cows in the mesas, to the Rhode Island red chickens residing in forests. Animania Farm also provides two new types of farm animals, draft horses and goats. Draft horses are a new kind of horse that can sport alongside the vanilla horses. These are taller and stronger than the vanilla cousins, more suited for work-related roles. Goats are another new mob introduced, having similar characteristics to sheep. Like with the other animals, draft horses and goats have multiple breeds to discover across the world. Beyond their visual changes, these animals have unique characteristics and behaviours to add some realism to them. Some qualities are universal to every animal, whilst others are tailored to a specific farm animal. Starting with some universal traits, every animal now has a male and female counterpart. These are identified by their different names on their spawn eggs or by their different features on their bodies. When the sun descends beyond the horizon, animals will now lay where they are and sleep for the night. On top of that, specific animals have their own unique behaviours to help them stand apart. Rams for example, may butt heads with one another to show their superiority. Roosters on the other hand, crow in the early hours of the morning. Animal breeds serve more than just some visual variation, as they play a role in providing slightly different drops and even quality drops to help make them differ from each other. For instance, Orpingtons drop the best quality chicken meat, whilst Leghorns lay eggs the quickest. One of the biggest changes to animals is breeding. In vanilla, two animals are simply fed their favourite food and science happens. Whilst the general principles apply, animals must now be happy for them to be willing to breed. For animals to be satisfied, they must have a source of food and water readily available to consume. Almost all animals have the same favourites from vanilla with pigs being the exception, able to feast a wider range of foods. Hand feeding them is one way to feed animals water and their favourite foods. However, another way to feed them is with troughs. Troughs are perhaps the best means to feed animals. These can be filled with water, slop and various foods to save the need to feed each animal individually. Hoppers can additionally link to troughs to make the feeding process more streamlined. Some animals like pigs and chickens require extra things to be fully satisfied. Pigs will need an abundance of mud to roll around in, whereas chickens require a nest to lay their eggs in. Fortunately, all the work in keeping the animals satisfied now pays off, as some animals can provide some extra uses on and out of the farm. Pigs taken into forests may dig up truffles, a food source that can be used to make new foods with positive effects. Milk can be acquired from cows, sheep and goats. This can be filled into bottles to consume on the fly or can be used to make cheese. New equipment can be made for the farm that can be pulled by the player or heavy animals like draft horses, from horse carts that can transport goods and animals easier 
over long distances, to tillers that can make farmland readily available, or even make their own portable home with the covered wagon, suitable for both short distances and even for adventuring far and wide. For a splash of more wildlife, Animania Extra adds a few new mobs to find across the world, from hedgehogs to toads. Many of the animals can be fed and bred with their favourite foods, while some are ambient mobs. Like with the farm animals, each animal has their own behaviours and habitats they reside in, helping to make them more unique. Rabbits, for example, will be active only during a sunrise or sunset, whilst mobs like ferrets and hedgehogs will hunt frogs and baby chicks for food. Some of these animals additionally have their own benefits the player can use. Dart frogs may be quite deadly to any careless player. Fortunately, their venomous poison can be tipped onto arrows to use in combat. Hamsters are one of the cute animals a player can tame, but one thing that can be used for is to generate RF by having them run in hamster wheels. Whilst it's not mandatory to play with both add-ons installed, it's highly recommended in order to have the best experience with this mod. Animania does a great job in making the passive animals feel more immersive. Both their visual and behavioural changes helps to give these animals some extra identity. Even some simple behaviours like sleeping truly makes the world of Minecraft feel like it's an actual place that could be lived in. Despite all the neat additions to make animals more immersive, there's some issues this mod has. For one thing, the manual doesn't contain everything about the mod, which can make it a bit difficult to figure out some things. Considering how long most of these farm animals have been in the game, it's nice to see them feeling a bit more updated to be as complex as the more recent mob additions. The addition of adding new animals as well is a nice touch to add some more life to the world. Thanks to the mod devs for making this immersive mod, and links to download it are in the description below.